the first banner from Team Fire, so I like this. Ban away the really good champions so they can't get their hands on them. That is a smart strategy. I think it's really good you pick up on that one. That's actually why we have bans in League of Legends, to get rid of strong champions so you don't have to face them. And Team Fire and Team Ice seem to agree. Got to ban out the anti-fun champions that's as it. well. That's, ah, that's another one. one. Uh, I want to see maybe some Talon. We're almost never going to see him in actual Summoner's Rift. So maybe if we see him when there's nothing but uh, a little bit of fun on the line, maybe we I can mean, get it. If we talk a little bit about the teams now, we see these bands coming in here. Team Ice is pretty stacked in this yeah. one. Like uh, BB, obviously strongest AD carry in the LMS. Mithy Yankos, very good combo from Europe. Even have some synergy together, like just some in-house scrims and mm -hmm. so on. And Whalys and Ziv are very, very good soul laners to have around you, especially for a jungler like Yankos who wants to play aggressive. So this Team Ice lineup is actually looking very, very good. Only band away, Ryzen and Lee Sin there. So Lee Sin away from Le uh, Levi, but obviously a good champion instead. Put Trenga on the other sides. And this is where we're really going to find out what are the players thinking? <laughs> the hovering Teemo, are they going to pick Teemo? Because this would be a great start to our last three games. Would be a great start. You speak about like kind of how stacked they are. I mean, you can never overlook Smeb in the top lane on the other side. And, he makes the know, team stacked on his own, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then, you know, you look at the bottom lane and for historical players in their roles, Doublelift yep. and Madlife are two of the biggest names globally in these positions. So maybe we'll have a little bit of fun down there in the bot lane as well. Madlife always been a Doublelift mistress. You know, it was always <laughs> after one Doublelift together, but then whenever Madlife showed up, there were some issues <laughs> in the relationship. <laughs> Luckily, they might have figured out now, or otherwise, Aphromo sitting behind here watching this and being quite angry right now. First pick, but they're from <laughs> So it's not the Zara. I do like that we're moving away from that. And of course, with Lysian taken away, we are going to have to see Levy go to something different. We'll see what Team Fire have in store for these first two picks, because this is a decent start from Team Ice. They're not 100% yeah. not on fun yet, but this is definitely better than the Zyra oh, we might have expected. I, it's it's a little outside of Mithy's wheelhouse. He's played it a couple of times when we've seen him on G2. All right, Europe, but this I, is I like good. It. Yes, here we go. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, we get to new ones. I mean, we have seen Mithy play this in the past, you know, not yeah. lately. It hasn't really been that meta. It's more like a shout out to Krepo. He's off the cast of this, and instantly we get some <laughs> bard games here. And we get to cast it, and it might go support, but I wouldn't be surprised to see some flex picking here. That's Crazy true. Crazy flex picking, like Wayless. He's an LPL mid laner. I'm sure he's practiced Bart <laughs> in that. For sure, practice Bart mid. Well, Bane, I assume for double lift and Riven, probably for Smith, but you never know. We'll see what Team Ice have lined up on the other side. Don't pick Caitlyn, Team Ice, saw that hover very quickly. That's definitely in the anti fun house. Ooh. Wouldn't mind a Yankos Fiddlesticks or a Nocturne. Ooh. Now, this was one of the champions that uh, Yankos was talking about that maybe wasn't quite so, uh, you know, super, super serious, but Nocturne's been tearing up solo queue for a long time now. So, wonder whether Yankos, that's his fun pick. I mean, yeah, the way, for, I guess, for Yankos to have fun <laughs> is not by randomly picking Team or something. It's like, Pick a super strong jungler and then try and carry the hardest he possibly can. Seeing as it was either Kha'Zix or the Nocturne. We did hear Mithy Blitzcrank, but with the bot being logged in, I would assume it goes to him. Well, there could still be another Blitzcrank. Exactly. But we'll have to wait. It is Nocturne for Yankos, though, and I love this I assume for Bebe. He's only allowed to play this if he picks Ooh. his skin, but if he picks his skin, <laughs> I'm okay with it. That, that's fair. Mad life taking his own Blitzcrank, so Mithy couldn't possibly steal the weight, <laughs> even if he didn't actually want there's to do a it. There's a Blitzcrank! All right. <laughs> Smeb won Scion for that top lane. Is this Optimus? Or is this Levy going... Uh, sorry, is it Levy going Scion in the jungle? Or is this Optimus going Riven in the mid lane? Like, I'm gonna guess. Scion jungle, yeah. Riven top. We obviously get Bane and Blitzcrank bot lane. I mean, come on. Oh, cool. Signature picks for these guys. A lot of people actually Ooh. think that Thresh was like the original Mad Life signature pick mm -hmm. because that was where they saw the highlights. Blitzcrank was actually the original pick for Mad Life and the one where the Korean fans are going nuts whenever he locks that one in. It's an old school champion for double lift as well, which is a huge throwback, but I do have Lux locked in here for <laughs> Team Ice, which I do like, and allow it, why not? Just to round things out. Ah, I wonder now whether Elementalist Lux is enabled Ooh. on this. It is the patch. They're on 623. So yeah, yeah, it is exactly. That would be an interesting patch. one. If it is enabled or not. We haven't actually gotten to see this champion. We've seen it in solo queue every time because everyone wants to play this game. It's like every single game, it's there. And it can be very annoying playing as AP. I think so. I guess that's Cogmore in the mid lane. We'll see if Levy and Smeb want to swap up their champions or, or not. Is Levy playing Riven Jungle? Is he that guy from solo queue? He could definitely be that guy. <laughs> He's at least in player, so it's not a huge stretch. <laughs> no, that's true. He's like, come on, I can run Courage at the Colossus. I'm going to E-Flash W into the fight, get five people in the shield. 
That's everything I need. You gotta look at a man like Smep though. Like, people are having fun with their picks. He locks in a tank. I'm like, I know it's a tank made a top lane and you wanna, I guess, follow that somewhat, but playing Scion in this? I I hope he's gone for Mecha Scion, <laughs> just for the train True. at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, Scion is actually pretty fun to play, but against the Lowry in lane, that's not gonna be too easy for, for good old Smep. I mean, it's maybe better than it for Riven, it's really rough for Riven. Yeah, that's too much stuff true. To so maybe it was a flex that was gonna swap if the matchup didn't work out. Not quite sure how it all shuffles out, but should be fun nonetheless. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. We're uh, gonna be able to answer all of those skin questions. That's about the most important questions left <laughs> in <laughs> everybody's <laughs> mind. <laughs> Gone to the point matters, as uh, Team Ice have already taken the victory for All Star. But thankfully, you can still vote even if you want to. I know the points don't matter anymore, but your vote certainly still counts. So vote at LL Esports with the hashtag FireWin or the hashtag IceWin. I guess that's now just for the game, which makes a little more sense given that Ice has technically won already. But at this stage, it is all about pride. Moral victories are very important. I will personally say more important than actual victory. Some may disagree, <laughs> but for this game, that's what I'm running with. No, I, I, I agree. No, no, no. I agree 100%. Because <laughs> what we have seen so far is that when like one or two individual players have had like sick games, where they just went like 10-0, 20-0, everyone talked about him. was like, man, wow, that guy was so great in that game. It's going to be the same here, you know. Everyone wants to show up what they can do, especially on signature picks, like Blitzcrank, like Bard. And I guess Wayless are back on his Lux. I'm sure it's been a main for him at some point. He's made like every champion I'm, in the game at some point. I'm sure he has at least one or two professional games on the champion. He's actually not going to go for the new skin. So stress, I know the skin of was important to you. I'm sorry to let you down early. It's all right. Thank goodness they added that extra particle on Steel Legion Lux. Otherwise, we'd be... Because yeah, that was the one happened. that was impossible that, yeah. to see before. Yeah, if Mad Life had been playing Eye Blitz, we would have had that whole shenanigans of things. But, ah, 0% does accuracy. not pay off. We got some cheese down the bottom lane. Smep is uh, <laughs> sneaking. Maybe he's very confused and going to the wrong lane. Lane's oh. anyone? Oh no. I think a penguin spotted him. Oh, he's going to have to go back home. The he's world's level one strategy <laughs> <laughs> failing. He saw that game with the Mickey and Splice played yeah. in the EU LCS where they played Scion support, and he was like, that's the game. I am Scion support. Yeah, Mad Life go, go top, top lane. <laughs> Double holding all to Mad Life. No, bot lane. Stay bot lane. 2v2 mate, and they're gonna get the 2v2 because there's no lane swaps in this game. <laughs> May they rest in peace. Well, it looks like Mad Live and Double will help out at least with Riven's early jungle. So, we're gonna start here on the blue. Nocturne will do the same. I do expect Yan Cost to jungle maybe a touch faster than Levy in this game. There you go, Courage of the Colossus. Ooh. And the Thunder Lord's Nocturne. Just to get there, you ult in, cue them, you've already basically got it. Storm Raiders Ilawi as well. Zip. Not exactly picking for laning phase with that one, but I can't blame him. He's gonna probably win the lane anyway with Yalawi. We'll not try can endorse baby skin choice, but we do have a 2v2 lane nonetheless. Let's see how double from Mad Life can navigate what is likely a tricky early laning phase, but it's all about the players here with Blitzcrank Vein. That's all they'll really need. Unfortunately, there's an Ezreal. Uh, yes, that's all. <laughs> gonna sit behind his minions and Arcane shift away, but double if that time got caught by the uh, binding. And Mithy 100% want to show some moves on the body. He hasn't gotten to play for such a long time. Now he gets to play it again. And it's against Mad Life Double If. Like, that's a bot lane you really <laughs> want to be. Especially if you make yourself look good doing it. Yeah, like exactly. Catch him with the bottles, the Qs, get all the combos off. Smep is catching every skill shot oh. up in the top lane. Here we go. He's trying to. He's got nothing leveled yet except a Q, so he <laughs> Baby's wants to coming up with him. Can. Ooh, hello. Here we go. Portal in. Optimus gonna get exhausted. Now the damage will come down. Baby just needs a little oh! bit. Oh, Q's gonna miss. Ah, oh, it's a tragedy. Uh, dodge. He fired it left. The dodge was down. Ah, uh, so much given though for that roam. I mean, basically the game lost right there. I mean, they, yeah, there's two summoners gone from Optimus now. Game is practically over for yeah, so it. far because he's not a champion and he's like. 35-ish minutes to actually do anything. Because we have a lot of experience watching this kind of champion in Europe with Power Vivo back in the day, these like snooze face games where we had to wait 40 <laughs> minutes before anything happened. And if you capped him a little bit in the start, you know, he didn't really do that much. Great start here for Mithy and BB. Top lane's looking good as well. Oh, man, I can look for that next hook, baby! Oh, oh. Gets out of it. The hard counter. That's just not fun at all. Yeah, it's not fun. They're, see, this is what we're talking about with anti-fun champions in this. But this is why you mad life him later. Yes. And you actually yeah. predict the jump, and then you pull him in. That's going to be the trick. It's going to happen at least once this game, I promise everyone. 
Certainly going to try for it as Smurf here. Oh, as if as well, come up as well. Ziv trying to dodge up. This is the first Q. Trying to batter away at Smith. Ooh. Little vessel, but Ziv, he's thinking his way out of the way and maybe trying to get something done here. But Red Buff Rivers chasing him down. And there's first blood to the jungler. Levy with a good start. Been the best performing GPL member in this tournament for sure. Showing his uh, Riven. Now, Yankos is behind enemy lines. He's not spotted. He's not spotting oh, anyone. Oh, now either. he is because the, the pollen plant just came through. Oh. Um, Trying to gank mid against poor Optimus. Seems like everyone just want to camp him right now. Well, looks like Yankos not going to get anything off that. Nice little play there from Double It's actually. Getting a bit of vision, but Mithy again doing damage. Man Life knocks up Mithy though. That's really the target they want to get if they can with a hook, but good damage traded back there. Smep does double back to land. Ziv will do the same. And again, Smep seems to be struggling. Oh, he's actually going all in for it. Levin was the game back in. Ziv no! got down for Ziv. Should be okay. Smep's going to beat him to death instead. <laughs> <laughs> the all plan. One, one for one. Levy comes over the back of the wall. Couldn't quite get there in time, but ah, there's a lot of focus up here on this two tank top lane. Two tank top lane with Ilawi in there trying to go ham <laughs> as much as possible. Big, big fan of watching like Ziv Smep top lane. I think these two are like some of the best top laners we actually have in the world. Getting to go ham against each other, obviously, in more relaxed setting than normal. Yankos has still been farming, and he's still around mid lane. He also has a raptor biting him in the ass. So. Oh no, Yankos! That's not a good look at all. He's biting his time. Insane damage from those raptors. Methy, it's the European gang. More tower dives, I do like it. Optimus could be in a spot of bother, not going to get bound up there. The middle oh. of the journey gets him out. Yankos with the easy dive and the exit as well. And poor fuck, poor. <laughs> he can't click the portal when he's dead. Feels uh, bad. That, that, that does feel bad. Like Optimus is getting so many people in his lane. That's like the third attempt at mid lane. And we were looking at where Yankos was positioned, looking at where, how he was coming through. So that's probably going to happen again. As soon as he hits level six, Paranoia is going to come through. And there's going to be no real opportunity for Optimus to get out with his flash still down. All right, man. Life, where's the hooks? Yeah. We're I mean, we're scrambling for about six minutes. Everyone's relaxed for now. Is that all he's got for you? you know, and that's all <laughs> you want to see is just yeah. one hook. Oh, he had technically the one hook where BB jumped out of it, but I need to see some Mad Life from Mad Life. I mean, that's what he's here for, certainly. It's actually the only reason he's here. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, Mad yeah, Life yeah. someone. I mean, kind to say that, but he was certainly voted in for those early plays he's made all career long. So in some ways, that's what he is here for, but or at least what he's known for. That would basically mean Insect would be at every single All-Star just to play Lee Sin. He once. is in he our He is, heart. technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Smep again. He's having trouble with Ghost Smep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Levy. For a gank. Got level six. Wales well, could be in a bit of trouble. Gets knocked up. Stun's there as well, but can't quite combo the rest of it. Wind Slash will do some damage, but Wales well, gets up pretty comfortably there. Does have to burn the Ghost, though. Oh, we're diving instead. <laughs> Mad Life's here. Yeah, I feel like now Team Fire is sitting around mid lane. It was uh, otherwise Mithy and Yankos putting all the focus on Optimus. Rough start for him to this game, but now he's getting some help. Let's see, Yankos is level 6 on this Nocturne. He's sneaking around oh, Optimus. Straight to the mid lane. Oh, 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 Poor Optimus sitting in that mid lane, playing against people like Whalers and Yankos, and then he's just getting ganked by the support as well. Uh, popped everything. This is, uh, you know, a lot of people say, where did Cogmore go from mid lane? Um, yeah, he's kind of difficult to get through the laning phase. Yeah, this is actually also like the last patch where you can like play AP because mm. It is getting slightly nerfed again. As soon as uh, Riot were like, oh, AP is a thing No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's remove it, remove it. Nerf it again, nerf it again. We don't want to see that. Nobody wants to come back through it as Blue Buff will be donated over to Whalers back here in the bottom side. Baby and Mithy actually doing a decent job on CS. Not quite there as they've had left lane a few times to try and make something happen. But, uh, oh, look, look, oh, no, get the minion. the minion. All right, technically got something, so not too bad. Now, if the minion flashed before... Oh, no, hang on, guys. Off, right? That would be the players. Yeah, the, if the minion was Yankos. somehow magically able to flash. He's found Levy all caught. And Ereba. Yeah. I like the binding extension there, but so Levy should be able to get it. Does smite it down, so everything's uh, going to be uh, Yankos okay. Yankos got it. Yankos was the one that smited. In the end, Levy didn't want to sacrifice his life for a red buff. Can't really blame him too much. Oh, he has oh, oh. Down there, Baby's going to try and get his way out, but that's going to be a fail. <laughs> Conveniently, we're in bottom lane, because here's a Crepo. Actually, the power of Bart. I'm just here to talk. Oh, to oh, oh no, no, Baby! Hang on, guys. We don't want to listen, Crepo. It's Bart Factor time. Did you know you can actually get in between a tier 1 and 2 towers and 
go for a portal. Did you know that Kog'Maw is countered so hard by the Bard ultimate? Bard is honestly fantastic champion overall. Look at him. Mithy right there. The selection that Quick. is going to bring the victory. Hang on, I need to write Mithy. Mithy, do crugs. We've do got crugs. everything. Oh no, Wailus, that's a bad new time. Wailus gets this is now with the Marsha. Keep, talk. Keep talking. Just the ultimate on Kog'Maw I think is fantastic here. Beautiful pick in the composition. Works against Riven, works against Vayne. And honestly, that's all I want to say. So guys, have fun with the cast. But okay. the bar is right fantastic. There. Thank you, Kromo, for the cameo. It's Mithy. I'm going to get his self in safety. Oh, oh the Kidem. That's a little bad look. But now Yanko's going to dive in onto the double. That'll be a kill for the back. Kreppo, where'd you go? Can we never invite Kreppo back, like, ever? <laughs> we missed, like, two kills. That's all he can talk about is Bard anyway. And Mithy. Oh, heavy. Oh, it's a big, huge damage there. Smithy gonna go down by oh, a flash from Yanko. Oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> Europe is like down. E flash, that man. was yeah. definitely, that was like EU at Worlds, technically. <laughs> and, except for yeah, yeah. okay, fair, fair. Always gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, they, yeah. they they join Fnatic and Origin and... It's a thing, you know, you can be super negative about EU at Worlds, oh. too positive. Once you see Smep has got to die to like 500 tentacles oh. around him. Let's see if this wants to click on him, and that might be enough for the kill. Good little pull there. That's going to batter him down once more, so Smeb is not feeling this right now. It's actually annoying you can't kill a guy by killing his, like, clone or his shadow. Mm. Yeah. But, well, you can kill him if he walks to the wall and gets hit by that extra tentacle that spawns, but you can't actually kill him with the ability. Since we're bringing other casters on, this is like the perfect top lane for Pulse. <laughs> it's like robot trains and tentacles. And it is double, F double Fs with a roam does manage to get it. See if we can't sub impulse for the top side there as well, but I like it. Man left and double, if you know what? Bottom lane wasn't so fun, couldn't hook too many people. Let's go to some other lanes in. There's been an awful lot of roaming, maybe more than we're used to. Yeah, I mean, 10 minutes in, I think we've seen every single play in every single lane so far. Mithy's top lane as well now. Might have more action. He's level six. Here we go. Has Man. that ulti okay. and a portal with Yankos. This is the play. What can they do together? Well, right now they're just oh, chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going to go ahead and take the CS. It's all the Ruse and Mithy going to leave. So, sick right. gank there. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. That was like watching EU LCS. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I love you. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm EU players. Oh, look at this. Ninja and EU. Double it. Why'd you attack the Rift Herald? Going to take this guy to grab instead. Maybe something he can't actually look, kill. This can't be like watching the EU LCS. Somebody has to win. <laughs> no! <laughs> A bit of a much room and Dev. He wants to win. Gets himself knocked back there. And that's going to get grabbed up. But here's the two choo train. Baby punches out of that one. But Lever, get a combo him up. There's another kill for the Riven. 4 0 2 again. Man, Levy is on every single game mode. He's just on fire. He must know how to kill steal like really well because his KDA is excellent. Hey, you do not pick Riven if you don't know how to kill steal. That's, that's like one of the main <laughs> rules. It's in the tooltip again when you pick Riven. Are you sure? Can you kill steal? Yes. Boom. Raven there. <laughs> what, what is actually better, kill steal? Any other champion? Who has an execute? Lee Sin. Uh, yeah, that's one. Darius. Darius is pretty Darius, good. Darius, Darius is actually really good. He was better before he changed. Mm. Unfortunately. Oh, Smeb landing it up. Smeb is comboed in. Another dive in from the Raven, and that's gonna be another kill. <laughs> Five zero two. Now unstoppable. Hmm. Everyone's trying to have fun, and Levy's like, no, I'm just going to kill yeah, everyone. Yeah, Riven's like, yeah, no fun. Just Riven, I'm going to kill everyone. And it's working. Yeah, he's trying to make sure he's, uh, you know, making himself look good. He looked good all the way through AWCA, so uh, trying to just back-to-back -back put as good a performance. We were talking about that before this game, actually, where we were like, will people try hard? Will people, you know, I mean, he's, he's up against some of Europe and the world's best, so... Yeah, I mean, you can never blame someone, obviously, for going in and showing some skill, and that is the fun part of playing Riven. Like, no one wants to sit and troll around. And Team Fire, looking pretty good. 5k goal lead as well, and Mithy is once again trying to find a kill. See what he can get here, because he's got the ulti ready, but I don't think we've seen him use it just yet. Gonna clear out some vision instead, and since that double lift in my life are playing a little too far back, and the top laner in jungle. Are back to try and make something happen here. In fact, Mithy might just face check a Riven. He does go over. Oh, that's a surprise. Mithy going to get the exhaust down, but Madai's coming in for a bit of extra defense. Pull oh. going through. He's going to ride it all the way. Wailer's trying to get a shield through, but the rest of the team's coming in as well. Optimus now looking for a couple snipes. There's Yankos straight into the middle, pulled back by Madai, and that's an easy kill for the Cogmore. Oh, Wailer's was trying to get the ulti to line up and kill somebody, but everybody was full health because uh, there was no damage done before. And Yankos, after, you know, this, this Nocturne pick, it's not really working out, Divisio. No, he's been looking for some ganks mid lane. Got the oh. kills earlier, and here's Smep going again. Who's he got this time? Baby! Oh no, 
long enough, he's not going to get nailed as Ziv instead. We'll get comboed up. Matt Lev with the hook. Oh, he barely misses it, but Double Lift still gets the kill. Slept to an umpire as well. Gotta give him that one. He's been warming a lot on this one. It's not over oh, yet. Oh. Levy is around. Not level 11, but it's still gonna hurt. Minty flashed on wind splash down. That's gonna be a kill now. Dominating. Catches him right before he gets in, and that was the blade pastry flash in with the courage. Oh, Optimus is here too. Oh, never mind. He was there. Fortunately, Yanko's whale is getting up on him. And it's a combo him down. But another turret's gonna go to fire. That's two to nothing. Both side lane turrets now fallen. Yeah, this game so far is all about the side lanes for Team Fire. Wherever they send Smeb and Levy, they seem to pick up a lot of kills. Sadly for Optimus, he tried to join too late and actually ended up dying a third time. Everyone else is doing great on Team Fire, where Team Ice needs to see people step up a little bit. Especially Ziv died five times already on the <laughs> Well, part of it's because plays like this, man. Through the top lane, gets the curve just right. Yeah, honestly, kind of unfair. BB doesn't take the hit from the Zion, <laughs> and just then just jump out after anyway, because he's not going to get, like, bursted down. Ignores it, jumps past it, and then, boom, Ziv gets hit instead, and he ends up actually dying for it. So to be fair, he is getting sold out a little bit by some of his teammates. Unfortunate look there, but Optimus actually okay after the initial early pressure. Does have a couple of deaths, but he's kind of starting to build up towards what looks like a Ludens first, and he's decent on CS as well. Snape in the meantime, still up here in the top lane, getting very tankly very quickly. He's going to try and do battle, but it's just a 1v1 for now, and looks like very briefly people will return to their lane assignments. For a moment. Uh, yes, I stress for a moment. And I see four members mid lane, but <laughs> apart from that, Mithy has been very active on the map. Not been able to sadly land any sick ulti so far. And actually, same for Mad Life, we haven't really seen him land any crazy hooks. It's not really been the battle of the supports just yet. I like this little roam there. at least opportunity. Is This is a real tricky thing to face check into. No words here either, but that will reveal them. Mystic shot. Nails man left right in the dome. Instead, we might just transition over to an objective. That's oh. fail. Well, you got to. There we go, Blast Burn. Saves the day. That's why we put it in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For Rubens like me, that can't make no <laughs> Oh, Dragon, of course. Mountain Drake with fire. He's got everything going for it. Oh, Optimus, not again. Oh, Optimus. Hi. Every time. Oh, Smith, no! Revenge! Oh, gonna get knocked off the bouncy castles there, and Mad Life secures his first kill for the game. Oh, they just cannot keep Optimus alive. I guess he's baiting technically. It's worth <laughs> it. It's worth <laughs> it. Yeah. Totally worth it. Mithy is around his mid tower. So is Mad Life, though. Oh, oh, oh Mithy! Gets himself hooked by the god himself. And Smeb's on a killing spree. <sighs> Mithy should have altered the tower, kept it alive. Ah. Snowballing out of control. Mythic could actually have ulted up in the air and then he would stun him on the way to the Blitzcrank and he wouldn't have gone all the way. That would have been next level. It's that would have been next get level. Hooked, and then this is the path. Well, Smaps in a 1v3, but I don't think he took too much damage before. Oh, oh my God, like baby! He's gonna get destroyed. Maybe now Godlike with seven kills and counting and now Ziv will be chased down as well. Stun in there from the Ruben W and that should be clean up. Smeb getting his fourth kill now. Yeah, once again, the top half of fire here is just getting everything. Seven kills on Levy, four on Smeb, nine assists. Ooh. Oh, now Nocturne having to flash as well. Look at those Nocturne mechanics. I impressive, he pressed him. Oh, Mad Life! Oh, oh he, wanted okay. he wanted the plan, he wanted the plan. He's fruit. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Rift out now, the next objective for fire. And looking good. Up a huge amount of gold, have three turrets already gone, and now Rift are probably over to this jungler. Yeah, and you know a team is snowballing when they can actually take a Rift here, <laughs> because it happens so rarely. But when you're really far ahead, you are allowed to take this objective. Levy gets it, he deserves it so far. Definitely the MVP. Well, only man we haven't seen too many plays out of yet is Double Lift, so can his vein go very fancy. He's gonna look for a 1v1. It should be relatively straightforward. He's two levels up as well. Baby just has no chance. Heals in. There's the tumble. Flashing for the autos. And Mithy now gonna try and make the difference. The double if does get the stun. He will be stunned back though. And now Wailers are gonna snipe him down. Double if. So you have this 1v2 when you're gonna dodge the first Q. But the autos are there. He was maybe gonna keep him alive. But that ulti does hit him. And this should steal it. Wailers puts the E on it. See a double if. Uh, he thought he had the 1v2. He thought he could still do it if it was just Mithy. Wayless ruins a good 1v1 that we had there. Bebe already getting taken out. He's gonna get another 1v1 top. But off on a blast going from Levy, but doesn't matter. He's on his way. Not sure Ziv can live through this one. They're gonna try and fight, but that's a lot of damage. Ziv is already dead, flashes and still gets ordered. 
Yeah, sadly for Zev, he's too far behind. Tried to dodge the potential stun from a ribbon with his Whoa. ulti, but didn't what? happen. Wayless. Another great ult there. Wayless actually forced a flash out of that one. Noble get banned on the tower, but it's not quite enough there. As Yankos are going to dive in onto Optimus, but might get sniped now. Should be okay. Classic move, you know, in this game here. Team Fire tries to do something, and the first thing Team Ice responds with is dive on Optimus. Literally just trying to kill him. <laughs> This time he stays alive though. Both summons have to be used. Rest of Team Fire is winning everywhere else on the map. Okay, and this is what you do. Once you have got insanely fed on this ribbon, you just split push. Doesn't matter that you're the jungler. Go the other side of the map to your team. I mean, push you are a ribbon player, yes. So that yep. is really a good thing to do. It's the same with the Shake Tools or Trinity. Oh no. Should be able to make this hop. No, actually, he's got support mad life, and Optimus is going to look to clean it up. Mithy goes to his own. Oh! Five, 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 five mad life! Absolutely insane! <laughs> Oh, good old mad life. Never changed. After all these years, his splits are still pretty good. Double if trying to find his way out of this one. Oh, he goes in instead. Looks for Yankos, does a couple of skill shots, but still trying to get it, getting aggressed and will wrap all the way around to his team towards the enemy tier two. Oh. And Dynalox, well done, mate. I do like how we're seeing every single player trying to challenge the other player just mechanically. Be like, can I outplay you? Can I outplay maybe the second guy as well? Everyone just trying to show what they can actually do, and that's exactly what you should do in this game mode here. How long until Smeb TPs into the boss side? Oh, he's oh, to oh, baby, again, oh, he's getting it now, and that's no good. See ya, Sunshine, baby, it goes down to Optimus. <laughs> I was gonna say, he could TP just in on Ziv, maybe try and just take the 1v1, but takes out the easy, squishy target, and I guess we get to have a look at that uh, kind of mad life again. It wasn't really a prediction, I guess. No, I mean, portal, yeah. Yeah. he knew mid they had to portal, yeah, and then it's very easy to, put, uh, to hook yeah, a guy who can't really juke because he's in the portal. And he just pulls him back out, takes the free kill really for his team. Oh. And now, Ooh. Nevi just died for the first time. That's good gold, actually. Wayless picking up the shutdown. His nice double is going to pop the Scryer's Bloom. Look to chase Yankos Blast, going to get into safety, and Wayless is going to kite it out. Can't get anything done here, but the settler was give it up. Drake up in a minute, so no need for that objective just yet. Yeah, Smurb and Mad Life just hanging out. I think Smurb is doing the right thing here on the sign. He's pretty tanky, he's gotten a lot of kills early. Mad Life's face checking a brush show, and that's not a good look. He'll flash out to safety for now, and Smurb, he's got some backup, so that's Team Ice through the journey and out. Yeah, he's got a Smurb right behind him at that point. It's, it's okay. Uh, I mean, Mad Life and Smurb probably can take on most people on this, this map. Um, Levy. He died. That's that's the beginning of the next phase of the Ribbon in Solo. <laughs> it's the, the first death is a big the death. The power goes to your head. Yeah. It all goes down here. It, it was died. just a fluke. They killed me once. Yeah. Don't worry. So you tell me that's the way in for us. I got it. Yeah, exactly. That's right. it. Straight through that one Ribbon Spot death. Down. It's totally fine yeah. from here. Let's see who can carry the hardest. Levy, 815 on Ribbon, or Wayless. On the lock, 6-2 and 1. Well, has actually been the best LPL player in this tournament. I mean... I mean, yeah, it doesn't Uzi say that up. much, but he, he <laughs> has been the best LPL player. I guess Uzi... I was going to say Uzi. Won the one we won. Okay, fine. In the 5 on 5s, like when it was regional clashes, I think Whale has had the best. Before. So he's been the second best. Well, I guess overall, then yes, fine. We just been the best. I mean, I agree with you. Wayless was someone that you know didn't get. There you go. You agreed. You're, yeah. you're down here with me now. You know, we're in this together. <laughs> definitely a bit of a, a struggle. He's de had a good performance here at all. So he's always been a strong, proficient player. And it's nice to see a little bit of that. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. Lux versus Riven. What's going to happen? I do like what Levy did with the blast cones there, but now he's getting chased out of his jungle. Yankos stealing some of it away, I believe. But he doesn't really mind too much. He's Awfully fed still as Smeb is trying to line up another ulti. I love again that Smeb's just moving between these lanes, trying to pick off the next person he can find with that choo choo train. Mithy, see the big ulti yet? That one's oh, not it either. I haven't seen it mixed. yet. No, that's very <laughs> true. There's still nothing. Next one though. It is a good choice to try and aim for Optimus in the mid lane. He does have to switch his boots to try and get a faster of that potential. Bard ulti. It's double F's time to shine them. Two items. And here's Smab! Leading the charge, they oh. portal out of the way, but that could be a big knock on Yankos though. Spell shields it, that's a bit uneventful. But the tower they will get instead, so Siege Mode enabled for Smab, that's a tower for fire. That's a pretty, pretty good spell shield that just shields like a train that's coming at a million miles an hour. Oh, oh he's, he's going in. He's in, he wants someone! Oh, he's found oh, Optimus, of course he has! <laughs> that's gonna be the kill, but I think Yankos is gonna go down. That'll be a kill for double, it's huge damage on the other end. 
No, that's not too short. Sure. They can do it. double clutches in. Good kill on Timothy, and they've got Zip pulled back as well. That should be another double. Gets itself a triple. They're still in front oh! of him. Oh! 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 See, I told you guys, Wales man. What the a beast. second best LPL player at all. Yeah, Star. fine. We that's agreed on it. second. That's it. fine. Wales, what a beast, man. <laughs> Eight two now on this one. He took down Levy one once more. Smeb is the only man in the mid lane, and he's walking away now. Still uh, a long way, you know, back in this game for Team Ice, seeing as they're still 6k gold down. Uh, Baron would be a good start. He pings under the Baron. That does seem like a decent next kill. <laughs> all right, let's see. So Edge of the Night was popped by Yanko. Jumps in. Of course he's killing Optimus. Poor guy. Goes down, sacrifices his life, and everything looks terrible for Team Ice. Not so. Great for double lift. He's already licking his lips like there's a triple kill here. Two people Lux around him. Corner. The Penta. Oh. Double lift tumbled into it as well when it hit him. After it actually connected to Levy first. That was satisfying. That was, that was, I mean, best. hey, guys, second best LPL. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly looking good as far as your scoreline goes. We'll see if he can keep it up. There are plenty of decent targets that he can snipe away. So if this game does get, I'm going to see significantly later. That could be it, but you can see he did most damage in the last team fight. Mm. Mithy had a great, great team. Fight. I mean, that's all you want is the support. Don't deal any damage. Technically, as well, you can actually have a good fight as Bard if you, like, land the ulti from Max Reigns and then have a good portal, give someone a health pack, and then you actually didn't deal that, That's damage. actually true. Doesn't the ulti that's deal one damage? Oh. I it did some. Oh, Where's Crapper? Get, get him back in here! All right, Zip and Smev having a duel for now, but Smev has uh, got a lot more health, which is going to make this a little unfair. Flash is in, looks for the kill. Zib just trying to run his way out, but Smev is not stopping. Little cue there for the slow, but Zib needs to keep running. Is he going to dive? He will, but Wireless could deter him. Smev's like, oh. I'll fight anyone else, but I ain't fighting that guy. Just see, wait and see whether Smeb kicks a minion just to try and take him out, but hasn't quite got the range. Needs to go back practice, maybe uh, some more Muay Thai. Yes, uh, get that him would in be there. Good for Extra hey, kicking power. They were pretty good in the end. Well, apparently all you got to do is imagine it's double left. <laughs> yeah, you know, the power just goes uh, over nine thousand at that point. But that was a pretty sweet video. Knowing this, double left just picked up a hex trinket. Does not want to get himself punched in the head. Who's he? Thankfully not on the <laughs> other team. That so should be okay. I want to see more snipe from Wayless on this Lux here. Last five was perfect. He's uh, had a few good ones, a few little miss, left and right. But also, I think Doublelift can beat a man in the late game team fights to kind of carry the whole thing. You said it yourself with the Hexstringer. It's ready. Oh, no. Oh. Don't get baited. Oh, it's okay. They actually moved. Oh, the one over the wall. The area. All right. Man, okay. I couldn't quite read them through the fog. It's okay, this is what all the Lux supports are saying. You just use Lux abilities to get the vision. Uh, well, I don't, don't need Sightstone, side side yeah. Stone. You don't need anything. Well, AP. This is basically Wayless playing support for mid -lane. It's okay. Yeah, I don't feel like... Okay, Smep is now <laughs> taking some damage, finally! <laughs> I mean, for a long time, almost no one was winning that. And I think that's kind of the end result, but Ziv gave it a good go. Smep's just going to take the minion wave instead. Welcome to top lane, everyone. <laughs> Might still get a big fight up here in the mid lane with 4v4. No one is coming! Oh, no. We get the tank fight. Oh! Again. Again. There's the sniper, and there's the extra kill for Yankos. I 5v3 potential opportunity. Here. Oh, let's see if they can start Baron. If Zip goes back to base, he has TP ready. He's recalling. Ice is running back to the mid lane, though. And now they're all recalling. That is not how you do Baron. Maybe it's a new meta, new patch, I'm not sure. That was a pretty uh, free objective. But anyway, I don't blame them. <laughs> we want more team fights. Well, I mean, again, we're kind of used to watching like the old Fnatic style or, you know, some of the other European teams that just run at it at 21 minutes and just go, oh, we'll just take it. Nobody's dead. So when people die, they just kind of think, oh, I guess we should stop. <laughs> what do we do now? Yeah. Oh, go spend all that money. Interesting to see. I guess Wayless is the only LPL player on the team. They're infamous for rushing at the Baron whenever possible. So looks like the, the rest of Team Ice was able to contain that potential hey, urge. EU and LPL special is actually the early Baron. <laughs> 100%. You should watch EU Challenger. Nobody gets Baron for like 40 minutes. Oh. Then we, we just sit there. Gentleman's agreement? Like yep. no one. <laughs> exactly. It's just uh, it's too good. Don't take it. <laughs> I don't know how to beat it yet. Okay, there. It's okay. The prop portal was the way from Smeb, but taken down there for Zid. Double of getting stronger. Infinity Edge, Shiv, and of course that Hex Drink are now done. So if we're looking for that big late game double of situation, we're kind of there now, but maybe not doing too bad either. No, no. I mean, okay, 0 5, I mean, guess. That's not <laughs> ideal. Oh, yeah, I think that's like, mm, maybe not the greatest, but Yankos, on the other hand, 
Had a bit of a tricky start, been picking up some kills now, has some good items, going for even more damage with the dust play coming in later. Trying to see if he can one-shot like double if the Optimus in the late game. See if he can carry some of those fights. It's gonna be Optimus. It's, it's probably gonna be <laughs> Optimus. Gonna yeah, be yeah, no, it's probably gonna be Optimus. He's got an Aurelius, he's got a Seraphs. Might have some tankiness in there, but I feel like Yung Yanko somewhere else can team up if they can dive on uh, one or two carries, preferably two, delete them immediately. That would be great. That's definitely a winning team fight yeah, I mean, for us. You know Wales is going to follow up with some snipes somewhere and see if he can take someone down, so... I'm we... waiting I'm waiting for the miscommunication. The Lux Bard <laughs> combination where oh, like, yeah. everybody's caught, but Mithy just kind of... Saves ugh, the day bad timing. for the other team. It's no yeah. good. I do have the Medias from Wales, though. Upgraded that Dark Seal that he got early, so he does know that kind of the big carry his team needs. He's got the big score line, so... Certainly in all the right places there. So that redemption is done for Mithy as well, Mad Live. Still working on the Aegis, kind of realizes, all right, the big fed AP carries, maybe the one I want to mitigate some damage from. <laughs> and this is a 1-8 Illawi, a champion that technically should be useless when falling behind. Smep hasn't really been able to like destroy him for quite a <laughs> while, and that's suddenly he's trying again. He's to trying see. very hard. He has to just poke him down so slowly because the all-in is so tricky. There's some armor penetration for Ziv, there is sustain as well. And of course the big ulti. It's a very slow fight. No one else is coming. Rank. I did check the mini map briefly to see if there was any excitement, but still no one. There's yeah. none. Still, still no one. Um, we can use this time to pump out some stats, maybe. Uh, just got told that Wayless is at currently at 41% of the team's damage, which is, <laughs> oh, wow. is, is not surprising. Um, he's he's oh, getting there. He could be number one soon, Deficio. Who's all the way? Oh, the rest oh, of the people going. Yes, double lift. Surprise. That's cheating. That is cheating. Come on, it was a one v one. So, Delete, is actually, so now Team Fire's going Baron? All right. Ah, uh, see, it's Smeb. He's got the brain. That's it. He's making the call. That's it. <laughs> now Double is sitting bottom. Oh, quick push. Now, baby! Feels bad. Gets himself over the wall. But he's fine. The poke no! There's another Lovai in there, but they actually jukes around it. Winslash didn't quite go where he wanted it to, but there is the snipe. Optimus manages to take him down. BB just wanted to buy more time for his team. He got hooked in on purpose. Had to <laughs> run away. Ended up dying, sadly. Double is still bottom lane, split pushing. Of While course. his team is about to do Baron, this is technically season two all over again. And look, it, it is. We've got a brush cam going on. There's a wonderful oh. League of Legends. Oh, that hook's gonna miss. Everything's gonna miss, actually. I mean, nobody is going so to. So that. Damn. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's stopping double lift. Um, at all. Oh, oh Optimus! It. There we go. Yeah, classic. I mean, Jaegos is dead, but he did get Optimus. What? Ooh, Ooh, hello. Good really? night. Maybe not quite. Well, Aelis off court. That's not what you want, but a good stuff from Mythius. Smith tries to chase him down with the train. Double F has now taken the inhibitor. I feel like that's a bad thing. <laughs> I feel like it is. I mean, no, uh, stopping him. It didn't seem like a bad thing. Maybe they knew something I didn't. Turns out, no. At least I also know they're losing that inhibitor is bad. There is more farm in the bottom lane for Zip, though. Wayless might go down. Oh, Wayless. It's okay. It's not okay. He gets grabbed by Mad Life. And another shutdown. Two kills now for Mad Life. You go, Mad Life. Oh, back down to second. As uh, Levy, this time, now they're going to try and head for that Baron. Um, everybody's half health, but nobody's really got anything here, so... Kind of a good game without Baron. It's not a fun time. Oh, that... Ziv is going to try 1v5. So if you can let them come in, Ziv pulls one out, double lift in the back. That's not a good look yep, at all for Levy. He's trying to finish the Baron, he does do so, but now they're going to turn on the baby who gets blown to pieces. He just disappeared, and now Doublelift's gonna chase another down. Mithy pops up the flare. Dangerous proposition. Good flash out from under the stun. Portal's out of the way, but Levy's gonna chase him down. The rest of the oh. team in as well. Doublelift not stunned, and there's the cleanup. Everything going wrong for Team Ice now. Fire, it all starts with that kill in the bottom lane. Doublelift coming down. Kills Zev, then the TP up to Baron. They get a few more kills. Bait around to Baron. Doublelift taking in here. Team Fire, they, they have everything right now. I don't know why the NALCS squad didn't play this kind of strat. Just let double lift go, you know, do everything it's else. It's really working. I know. Highly really competitive game. Hang on, I don't this know. I don't know if that's ever worked in NA before. I might not be familiar with the strategy. Uh, I mean, it, it works. Mad right? Life ruining <laughs> that uh, Ilawi one before as well by just chain CCing Zip. Terrible. Terrible performance. But, you know, it's all really on the anticipation of the next time Yankos has his ultimate game. Which is now. Yeah. yeah. Basically waiting for Optimus to die. Optimus or... comes in division. I mean, he, Optimus could do himself a favor and just buy an hourglass. And as soon as he knocks on the door, he just flick it. 
<laughs> oh, Psycho Smith. Oh, that cannon minion. Yeah. He's been deterred. <laughs> He's back. Okay, from Optimus isn't bad. Ooh, oh, oh. not enough for a snipe. Oh, gonna try and wait for that to wear, but Smeb's gonna dive in instead. Maybe's a target, he's not gonna hit him. But now Whaler's throwing that completely, and Levy's just gonna dive in there. Tower's gonna fall, Smeb. But oh, that's an Oh, he's put an hour close. I like it, man. Like, first Whaler's there as well. Hooks him in, and that's gonna be another kill. Team Fire. I mean, out of the 2016 tournament, they're gonna try and push him for this game. Oh, he knows. Oh, he's got Levin. He's getting shot down by Double If Kill is there. Now gonna dance in around Zip. Can Double If clean up the rest of the kills? Mad Life again. Huge hook there. Smith diving into the fountain. That's a quadra kill for Double If. And Team Fire. I don't think they can wait for the Penta. They'll knock down the turrets and take the Nexus and win this exhibition game. What a wonderful performance. Yeah. Definitely a game won by Superior Macro from Team Fire <laughs> in this game. After they got that kill in the ball, they went barren. We, uh, hook. Really closed out the game. Mad Life can be happy. 2 1 15 on the Blitz crank. Didn't get to see the Mad Life, I actually promised. No. Me. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Didn't didn't get it. Uh, double lift. As soon as he logged in vain, we knew this was one game. Yeah. That's always how it goes.